Matthew Doyle here again, welcoming you to Scaleform GFX 3.0, getting started with Click Video Tutorial 2. In Step 5, we'll detail skinning the sound slider. If you can skin a button, you can skin a slider, which is really just a collection of buttons. You can see the final skinned slider in action here. Double click the sound slider graphic to enter its timeline. Double click the track graphic to enter its timeline. Press Ctrl and plus a few times to zoom in. Double click the slider track movie clip to enter its timeline. Select file from the top menu and then import, import to stage. Browse to and select the file slidertrack.psd. Select the original layer in the bottom of the layer stack and press the trash can icon to delete it. Return to the slider movie clip. Double click the thumb graphic to enter its timeline. Select frame 1 of the states layer. Import the thumb graphic to the stage using file import to stage. Browse to and select the file slidergrip.psd. Ensure each layer has the Create Empty Movie Clip for this layer checkbox enabled. And ensure the Convert to Layers dropdown is set to keyframes. Rename the new layer States. Drag the second keyframe into position above the over state of the labels layer. Drag the third keyframe above the down state. Insert a new keyframe above the disabled state. While still on the disabled keyframe, select the grip graphic. Change the color effect on the properties panel to alpha and set the alpha to 50%. Now delete the two extra frames at the end of the timeline. We need to align the grip to the track. Select all the frames of the grip layer by first selecting keyframe 1 then shift clicking on the last frame on the timeline. Press the edit multiple frames button. Grab the small white dot on the edit multiple frames control above the timeline and drag it so that the dark rectangle encompasses the entire stretch of frames from keyframe 1 to the end of the timeline. Lock the states layer and draw a selection box around the grip graphic. Now use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the graphic into place. The registration point of the grip, which looks like a small plus sign, should line up horizontally with the registration point of the track on the left and the grip should sit on top of the track so that it is vertically centered. Turn off edit multiple frames and delete the old states layer at the bottom of the layer stack. Click and drag the new states layer to the bottom. Click scene 1 to return to the main timeline. Select frame 10 of the scene layer then select fit in window. Double click the label next to the sound slider to enter its timeline. Select the text field on the stage and adjust the text field font type, size, and color in the Properties panel under the Character Rollout. Press Scene 1 to leave the label timeline. This concludes Step 5. Save and test your progress.